work session dated Thursday, May 21st, 23rd, I'm sorry, 2019. Uh, Chairman Stubbs is out of town and we'll be back at our next regularly scheduled meeting. Uh, we'll call this work session to order in our regular business. Uh, review of the minutes of May 13, 2019 commission meeting. Any uh, discussion, questions, so forth. Okay, next item is a review of the memorandum of warrants for the period of May 8, 2019 through May 17, 2019. Mr. Byer. Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, uh, the memorandum of warrants for that period of time was $1,179,616.35. Any comments, questions? Okay, proceeding on. Uh, we'll now have a public hearing for 011-Lounge Retail Liquor Class 2 Package Liquor License Application by Lakeside Highway 111 LLC for Lakeside Highway Package Store 6269 Hopewell Road with Tumpka, Alabama 36093. Anyone speaking for or against uh, this license? Okay, would you like to come to the podium? Four, okay. Okay. Any other comments, discussions from anybody regarding that public hearing? Okay, moving forward, we have another public hearing for 050 retail beer off-premises only and a 070 retail table wine off-premises only liquor License application by Lakeside Highway 111 LLC for Lakeside Marathon 6265 Hopewell Road, Wetumpka, Alabama 36093. Is there anyone here speaking for or against? Okay. The next item is consider approval of modifications to Community Action Partnership of Middle Alabama. Uh, bylaws. We had a lady uh, from that agency speak to us last uh, meeting and uh, any discussion or comments about that. Okay, moving on. Next item, discuss board appointments to Community Action Partnership of Middle Alabama appointment due 624-19. Uh, we'll be taking candidates up until that, that time for that position. Any discussion, comments? Right. They said, uh, uh, if I remember correctly, and correct me if I'm wrong, the director said it could either be a commissioner or someone uh, that the commission suggests or recommends. Any commissioner. And that, that is correct. And the, uh, there's two appointees. One of them has already been made by that group from a representative from uh, Tallahassee who is not an elected official, so that is something for you to consider uh, whether you want it. It doesn't even have to be an elected official from the county commission. It could be a councilman or a mayor, somebody else in the county, as long as it's uh, uh, a representative that y'all are recommending. And, and uh, there is a process for them to be able to ratify that appointment. So Okay. I think right. she. I think she's after getting elected official. Exactly. Um, yeah, I think that was her preference. Okay. Thank you, Commissioner Reeves and Mr. Byer. Uh, and that will again. That will be due uh, June the twenty fourth, two thousand nineteen. Moving on to new business. Discuss transferring excess tax funds, set tax sale funds from the May eighteenth, two thousand fifteen tax sale to the general fund as per attached list. Mr. Byer. Mr. Chairman, Commissioners, uh, you do have an updated list in your uh, packet. Um, there is uh, roughly uh, $40,269.03 uh, that is in that uh, um, category to be transferred from the excess tax sale over to uh, the general fund. Uh, this is a routine uh, transaction that occurs uh, during the uh, uh, May time frame after these uh, uh, these tax sale proceeds uh, have exceeded the, uh, I believe it's a three-year three -year limit that they're on the books. Okay. Any discussion, questions, comments? Mr. Chairman, I need to make a correction to the date on that. It should be um, 
2016 instead of 2015. It would be May 16th of 2016 when we put it on the business meeting. Okay. 2016 instead of 2015. Correction noted. Uh, any further discussion on that? Questions? Moving on, consider revised utility agreement for a highway safety improvement pro program project with ALDOT, project number HSIP-2616-250, ECP-26-05-16U. Mr. Byer? You can tell it's an ALDOT project with all those acronyms exactly. and numbers. Uh, this is actually the Redland Roundabout. We, as we're trying to uh, um, complete the acquisition of right-of-way, it has uh, become apparent that our utility relocation costs are going to be higher than uh, the previous estimates. Um, the uh, County Engineering Department applied to ALDOT for some increased funds, roughly $175,000 of additional federal aid funds, and we were awarded that. And this. Uh, item on the agenda would authorize the chairman to sign that revised agreement to give us the necessary funds to complete the uh, utility uh, relocations. Okay. For Redland Roundabout. Yes, sir. Any discussion, questions, comments? Okay. Moving on to the consent docket approved travel memo, family medical leave request for Angelia Rigsby dispatcher effective 5-15-19. Any comments on the or questions or comments on the consent docket? Mr. Chairman, in your packet, you've got an, a revised travel memo. There was one item left off for uh, uh, one of the revenue department uh, employees to attend some training in Montgomery. It exceeded the uh, $500 uh, limit for local travel by $72 or something like that. Uh, so it's 572.66. But uh, as for Paige Thornton to go to real and personal property calculations, so. That is a, a revision. Um, okay, that's a, that's an amendment noted yeah. for the consent docket. Any comments, questions? Personnel notification, notification, notification of promotion of Ann Margaret Trost, dispatcher to dispatch supervisor, replace L. Rucker, effective 5-26-19. We'll now have the reports to the commission, Mr. Byer. Chairman, Commissioners, uh, just by way of report, the uh, FY 2020 budget development is ongoing. We have uh, departments submitting their uh, budget requests by the end of next week, May 31st. Uh, we actually had a small uh, um, discussion about that at our um, uh, countywide safety meeting today prior to the Highway Department luncheon. Everything seems to be on track. We talked to uh, them about a number of different upcoming projects. We also talked to them about uh, preparation for the appraisal performance system that uh, we intend to uh, have ready to kick off in the FY 2020. Um, they have till next uh, uh, Friday as well to get us their final comments back on the, uh, the actual appraisal form and the, uh, the rating system that's used. Um, once they do that, then we'll be working with the county attorney to finalize um, the details related to that and to the, uh, the training so we can have all that ready to roll out by the end of this fiscal year, the beginning of FY20. Uh, the only other item that I had to report is uh, a lot of work's been going on with the Rebuild Alabama and the uh, implementation team. Luke and I both serve on that team for uh, ACCA and ACEA, and so we've been doing a, a lot of work uh, leading up to the County Engineers Conference two weeks ago, and uh, we have uh, some deliverables due in June, including some uh, work with the uh, Department of Examiners to approve all the pro processes. So you may have heard some through uh, the Hot Five and some of the other transmissions from ACCA about guidance coming out. That's the guidance that's being worked on. Uh, there's 12 of us and there's 10 counties represented in that 12. The ACCA conference will have a, a session on the Thursday, um, technical sessions where the commissioners will be combined with the engineers to uh, do nothing but talk about the details of that rollout and, and all the uh, the other thing that we're working on related to rebuild here locally is your county transportation plan that has to be adopted by the end of August um, is uh, one of those templates that we're working on. Um, the, uh, uh, we are taking our, our uh, county road inventory and our grading system and working on that list to uh, bring back to you for consideration so we'll be ready to meet our deadlines in August uh, to have that plan approved. You cannot expend any of the money unless you have that plan in place and then at the tail end of expending it 
you have to report uh, whether you met the goals of that plan and uh, expended it and um, you know if you had overruns underruns all that has to be reported that's the accountability piece that uh, was included in rebuild Alabama so mr. chairman that's all I have in the way of a report uh, do you have any questions of me thank you mr. Byer we now have the reports from the commissioner Commissioner Holt uh, I'd like to say we appreciate y'all being here to represent yourselves in this hearing and we'll vote immediately after this work session uh, Another thing, several things I wanted to say is, I really enjoyed that luncheon today, as I know you guys did. And I thought we got a good group of people that uh, really do good work and really do good at places like this. You know, there's not a lot of loud noise and things of that nature with that many people. So I I'm proud of the people we got working for us. And I know you guys said the same thing today. But uh, we got good people throughout the county working but uh, and I think we all want to do everything we can to take care of them because I know we've tried and uh, I think we'll continue to try and I, I don't like this heat at all this hundred degree weather's coming that's rough but uh, nothing we can do about that I heard him talking today one of the deputies my cousin Billy Wilson that these all time patients get lost sometimes that's a normal thing and in this kind of weather, they can't last long outside in the woods. It's, they'll, they'll dehydrate. And uh, it's just rough the way it's going to be this weekend. But anyway, and I appreciate what uh, our fellow commissioners do. Uh, that's all, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Commissioner Hope. Commissioner Mercer. Thank you, Chairman. As we all know, Memorial Day weekend is here right upon us, and we'll be uh, uh, taking a break uh, on Monday to uh, – honor the uh, men and women that uh, gave their their life to protect us and uh, give us the freedoms that we uh, currently enjoy so let's remember why we uh, why we're celebrating um, Memorial Day uh, one of the events taking place uh, in, in Millbrook this weekend will be on Saturday it'll be the uh, hot rods in the park it's the sixth annual uh, uh, car show uh, it'll be taking place at Village Green there in downtown Millbrook from 9 to 2 and mission will be a non-perishable item for the uh, Welcome Food Pantry in Millbrook. That's all I have, Chairman. Thank you, Commissioner Mercer. Commissioner Reeves. Thank you, Commissioner Reeves. Um, as Commissioner Holt mentioned, we uh, had a luncheon today with our highway department and some other county employees, and as I told them, uh, we have a lot of uh, good assets in, in Elmore County. And it's a growing county, but, but some of our best assets are our county employees. They do a tremendous job, particularly during the last month when we've had all this bad weather. They've been called out in the wee hours of the morning. No one complains. They do their job, and we're very blessed with good county employees in every department. And I, again, want to thank Commissioner Reeves and all those who worked so hard in the last couple of years to upgrade our personnel manual and uh, – uh, pay grades and so forth, and uh, because we we have to take care of that at those assets and our and our good employees. I'd like to piggyback on what Commissioner uh, uh, Mercer said about Memorial Day. Uh, it's good to have the barbecues and the family fun and all that, and it's a wonderful long holiday weekend. But may we never forget, and I pray we never forget as a nation, the reason that we recognize Memorial Day and for the uh, and thank those families of those that have given the ultimate sacrifice for our freedoms. Um, and we, uh, let's see, important calendar dates, Miss Kim. Monday, May 27th, the court has to be closed in observance of Memorial Day. Saturday, June 8th is the next cutting with cleanup from 9 to 1, noting the rotating location is the Kusada Post Office. And Monday, June 10th, will be our next commission meeting at 5 with the business meeting following. Thank you, Ms. Kim. Uh, one other thing, as most of us all know, uh, Mr. Byers' precious daughter was involved in a very serious automobile accident this week. We are, we are just so thankful that she's going to be okay. And uh, I know he would uh, want to thank everyone for all the prayers and the concern and uh, uh, very blessed that, that she's going to be fine. And, and our thoughts and prayers are still with you. In your family, uh, Mr. Byer. Uh, anything else? We will uh, 
take a short break, come back, and uh, uh, finish with our uh, uh, business meeting. We'll adjourn, come back shortly. We'll call the meeting to order. Uh, we'll ask uh, Commissioner Mercer to give us an invocation, then we'll have the Pledge of Allegiance. Commissioner Mercer. Thank you, Chairman. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for letting us be here tonight, Lord. We thank you for letting us have the opportunity to uh, serve our citizens. Father, we ask that you be with us and guide our thoughts uh, and guide our, uh, what we say. Uh, Father, we, we ask that you um, be with the families, and, and we thank you for the people that have, uh, have, have died for our, uh, our freedoms and uh, have given us the opportunity to, to live the life that we live here in the, in the country that we live, Father. And, and, and we appreciate uh, everything they have done. Father, we, we thank you for dying for our sins, and we love you. Amen. Thank you. Let us stand for the pledge. Kim, would you call the roll? Commissioner Holt? Here. Commissioner Daughtry? Here. Chairman Stubbs? Commissioner Mercer? Here. Commissioner Reeves? Here. In regular business, do I hear a motion to approve the minutes of the May 13, 2019 Commission meeting as presented during the work session? Motion to approve. Second. Ms. Kim? Commissioner Holt? Yes. Chairman Daughtry? Here. Yes. Commissioner Rosa? Yes. Commissioner Reeves? Motion, do I hear a motion to approve the memorandum of warrants for the period of May the 8th, 2019 through May the 17th, 2019? Second. Ms. Kim? Commissioner Holt? Yes. Chairman Dodger? Yes. Commissioner Mercer? Yes. Commissioner Reeves? In old business, do I hear a motion to approve and deny 011 Lounge Retail Liquor Class 2 Package Liquor License Application by Lakeside Highway 111 LLC for Lakeside Highway Package Store 6269 Hopewell Road with Tumpka, Alabama 36093. I make a motion to approve. Second. Ms. Kim? Commissioner Holt? Yes. Chairman Daughtry? Yes. Commissioner Mercer? Yes. yes. Commissioner Reeves? Is there a motion to approve deny 050 retail beer all premises only and a 070 retail table wine all premises only liquor license application for Lakeside Highway 111 LLC for Lakeside Marathon 6265 Hopeful Road, Wetumpka, Alabama 36093. Second. Ms. Kim? Commissioner Holt? Yes. Chairman Daughtry? Yes. Commissioner Mercer? Yes. Commissioner Reeves? Is there a motion to approve deny modifications to Community Action Partnership of Middle Alabama bylaws? Motion to approve. Second. Ms. Kim? Commissioner Holt? Yes. Chairman Daughtry? Yes. Commissioner Mercer? Yes. Commissioner Reeves? New business. Is there a motion to approve or deny transferring excess tax sale funds from the May 16, 2016 tax sale to the general fund as per attached list? Second. Ms. Kim? Commissioner Holt? Yes. Chairman Daughtry? Yes. Commissioner Mercer? Yes. Commissioner Reeves? Is there a motion to approve, deny, revise utility agreement for Highway Safety Improvement Program project with ALDOT project number HSIP-2616-250, ECP-260516-U? Motion to approve. Ms. Kim? Commissioner Holt? Yes. Chairman Daughtry? Yes. Commissioner Mercer? Yes. Commissioner Reeves? Is there a motion to approve the consent docket as presented? I make a motion to approve it. Second. Ms. Ms. Kim? Commissioner Holt? Yes. Chairman Daughtry? Yes. Commissioner Mercer? Yes. Commissioner Reeves? Personnel notifications, notification of promotion of Ann Margaret Trost, dispatcher to dispatch supervisor, replace L. Rucker, effective 52619. Any further reports to the commission? 
Do I hear a motion that we adjourn? A motion to adjourn. Ms. Kim? Commissioner Holt? Yes. Chairman Daughtry? Yes. Commissioner Mercer? Yes. Commissioner Reeves? Yes. Have a safe, happy Memorial Day. Meeting adjourned. I heard you tell